it's actually recording hello folks um yeah coming to you from the shed a quick video getting dazzled with light i guess quick video um trying to hold it at arm's length a quick video in the real life guitar shed uh to herald or while i'm in the middle of a, a tidy up let me just switch a second it angled um but I had just a quick look around the shed and see I'd, I'd basically untidied myself into a complete corner um, the other day so I just had to stop and do a clear out today so I'm sort of halfway through the clear out um, but I thought I'd kind of take you around where I got to in the meantime so what have we got in the shed and I, I often think about doing this but then I don't do it because I just I think you'd be bored but then I think well people aren't in my shed so how would they know or you know it might be they, they wouldn't be as bored of it as I am so anyway um I'm just moving something so we got real love guitars empire is basically a 12 by 8 shed and um I've had it about six years now and uh, it's I just noticed this morning in fact I'm going to put a heater on down here I just noticed this morning that this corner was getting damp um I don't know maybe it needs some more kind of water coating or treatment of the wood outside but it isn't going to last forever it's a it's a wooden shed after all but pretty sturdily made um so i'm just going to kind of go around the bits and pieces that i use and i'm i'm not going to be bored telling it if you get what i mean i'm not going to self-censor the first thing in here is my sony speakers these little woofers there's one on either side of the door and underneath, somewhere down in there, da, 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 in there, little green light. Where's it gone? Oh yeah, little green light. Is a woofer unit, and I bought those in Germany in 1987 or 88, and they still work really well. So that's my music system. As you can see, kind of everything has got a place where the clamps usually live attached to the door when they're not doing something. And then over here, we've got three lines of four lines of shelving three and a half lines of shelving and they're actually chock a block at the moment with um up on the top it's hard to see but i've got um polishes and buffing compounds and then down here on the next shelf i've got various paints and lacquers and then down on this shelf i've got paints and lacquers and stuff again and lots of um, hanging things as you can see and there's paints and lacquers on the floor down there down on the bottom shelf there down in the corner over there so it's everywhere but you can see how oh, and on there but i've got a kind of i've got a roof space up here which stores bubble wrap ham the essential hammocks and a few bits and pieces um but i get i have a lot of spare necks and things that i'm working on dangling um on strings um that's my laser pointer thing self-leveling uh, an old guitar body something that i took apart and um, used for a while but then took apart a sort of test or a, a little invented acoustic guitar experiment where i um hard uh, sort of hard solid bodied acoustic i put in a piezo pickup and this little cheap unit and it worked actually um i didn't like the way it felt particularly so i'll do something else with it um uh a i think this is a yeah this is a um an encore blaster body waiting for a neck at some point but it's a perfectly nice little guitar um my buffing wheels and the buffer lives around in a big circle lives here and it's a great little unit at 900 rpm speed and it's it's freestanding so it doesn't i don't use it in here because it's very dusty um, creates a lot of dust so it's kind of wedged at the moment underneath a little retainer block and so when i want to take it outside i just pull it out of that block like that and here i just shove it back in to keep it safe um and it lives there until i need it um it goes out on the outside thing so what we've got in the corner we've got the work zone uh cheap bandsaw with the guide locked in this position i can't get it down any further so i have to use it like that it, it's never been any good cutting straight lines it could be my technique but um actually uh, the the company aldi gave me back some money on it for that and so i got myself a, like a 40 quid um effectively a 40 quid bandsaw that i can use and it's very very useful for quick cuts um i say no good for anything 
deadly accurate and straight but you know um but one of the things i found about this is that it transforms the whole experience is change the blade for a decent quality one and i think just about any other call any other blade other than the one that's in there will will improve it so i, I was totally amazed and um, this thing lives on a this freestanding on a block and the reason is is because I like to, I have to at times, pull it out and swish it round and move it to get access to things. So it's not kind of terribly safe from that point of view, but it's necessary to do. Um, I've got some stores up here of uh, sandpapers all dangling off long screws and things. Um, I've got the pillow sander bits and bobs up there. And so oh, next, to the, next to the buffer, uh, I've got this little um, scroll saw, which again is just clamped down to the, the table at the moment, so I can move that around to wherever. Down in here, there's just a, a sort of odd little tool bucket thing of full of pickups, spare pickups. You, most of those good quality ones or workable ones. I've got a, a router table under here with the Makita in, stuck in it upside down. Um, where are you, Makita? There it is. Um, I hardly use that, which is a shame, really. Um, I, I did use it for some edging, um, but it lives in there, so that whole thing can come out, and I have to obviously remove all the bits on top. But this is probably my most used one at the moment, and this is the, the little, I think it hasn't even got a name, it's a no-brand thing, but it's been so useful, and I've basically designed a little router sled, um, and this router sled is going to allow me to radius this fingerboard for a project I'm working on for a customer. So I've put some ebony on a, a Chinese, basic Chinese neck where I've basically chiseled off all the rosewood and sanded it back, glued this on and now I'm going to just zzz, 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 and put a nine and a half inch radius on that. Um, yeah, so what else have we got? Oh, we've got Henry, of course, down there. Um, we've got the pillar sander here. Oops, which, um, come back which is a good quality machine. Uh, it's conked out, actually. It, it, it went faulty once. Um, hang on, I seem to have lost my control of my gimbal. Right. Um, yeah, it, it, was, it went wrong once. Um, but the company were great and repaired it and sent it back. And it's worked ever since, which is great. So I have lots of hanging things. I've got my melted dab radio which um, I think I left the next door on a radiator or something once and it melted, but it still works. It's very old. I have quite a useful little burner tool hanging. And then up here we have all the little bits and bobs. We've got a um, shrink, a heater gun, a hot air gun for shrink tubing. Um, up here we've got a bunch of funny little bits of wood cut for something I was doing. We've got some, we've got some decals, we've got decals, little tiny thingies, cable ties, load of 3M sticky pads, a few bits and pieces, there's a couple of piezo units there, uh, blades, bearings or something, you know, just odd stuff. And then we've got the, the light that doesn't act as a light, but just works as a, a massive magnet thing for sticking all my most important blades on. Um, and then up here we've got the pillar drill, which has, again, magnets sticking tons of other useful stuff, all my... Um, hex screwdrivers are magneted to the side uh, you can see the, the chuck keys magneted to the side you can see a bag of sweets there uh, orange drops from china and then up here we've got some magneted things scrapers and gouges um my all trusty temperature and humidity gauge um oh down here we've got the bottom of the thing we've got looks like something from an old film. Oh look, it's my trusty watch, which hasn't been worn or seen or used for quite some time, which is weird, because we only use the clock on our phones now, don't we? Um, window ledge full of glues and bits and bobs. And then we have, the, ooh, we have the complete mess down here. This is, this has to be tidied up today. That's what I'm wasting time and not doing now. Likewise, the kind of main working areas here, um, which also has to be tidied up. I've been doing mucky stuff, but you can see over there is the magic arm with some with a with a selfie stick attached and the camera attached to the end. So I've got quite a range of movement on the camera. The whiteboard, which um, I find really helpful for 
working things out, but also showing, pointing out things if I'm trying to make a point. Um, and then over here, we've got the curving, sinking, too heavy for its own good box of bits and pieces, um, which kind of meets another couple of piles of bits and pieces down there. And then there's some green boxes of stuff here, which are pretty cool, full of lots of useful bits. So there's stuff everywhere. We've got some pieces under in, in progress there. And then here we've got a couple of pieces under repair. So we've got the, the Trekkie body. We've got a neck for another one in the future. And we've got, actually those two could belong together, that body and that neck. That's the pick guard for the SG shaped guitar, which I've got over here. And this is a left hander that I started making. I won't leave the heater on too long with this, but the left hander over here, um, uh, I, I got the angle wrong and I was really annoyed so I paused it for a bit and actually I found a way of getting the bridge down flush with the body so actually this thing um, looks like it works really well so I'm, uh, I'm going to carry on with that I've got it strung right hand at the moment so I can test it um, but I will obviously switch it around to left hand the thing dangling here is just a sort of electronics test rig um, for trying out things if I don't want to um, get them all hooked up inside a, a guitar and there's a pair of that's a pair of Epiphone 57 hot humbuckers in there um, which again I can always use for something um, yeah so, so we've got the sort of the main area that I do my stuff is there probably one of the most useful things a couple of the most useful a couple among the most useful things I've got one of them is the little red the mi micro cube which does an amazing duty as a tuning amp and as a quick testing amp in here um got my my, my wiring department there which is rubbish because it gets covered up in nothing fits in it and then it the top stays off and then it gets covered in sawdust and then i have to tip it out and sort it through and hoover it out a couple of pelly cases which you don't need which are sort of sitting there taking up some room um but probably one of the most important pieces of stuff i've got here is the great big lump of wood with the vice on one end and i'm not attached to the other end is the uh, fret press which I can lift the whole thing off and turn it round clamp it down and, and do fretting one end sawing and cutting at the other end um, and there whoops there lives my soldering iron um, which is also very dependable and then there's kind of lights and whatnot to add, add some glow to the place so it gets it's quite cosy in here after a while. Um, yeah, so some funny little red curtains. I don't know. They were they were kind of pretty much from the day we got the shed put together. And I think I thought I would just create a bit of hiding some of the tools and stuff from the outside view. But we live in a pretty safe neighbourhood and stuff, so it's never really been a problem. So I'm going to turn this off now and go back to um, tidying up. Um, so I've got a lot more to do. I've got to make this clean up this place. So I. I've got jobs to do this weekend and I'm not going to do them until I've tied it up so I feel uh, a little bit more at ease. But of course this is what, you know, when you have a tiny space, you know, you, you can see that everything is hung everywhere. There's things velcroed to things, there's a spoke shave on a screw hanging off the wall. There are things everywhere you look. Um, but that's how it has to be. It's a bit like living aboard a small boat. Um, all my tapes lined up on little, little screws hanging off there. And of course my department of um, pliers and uh, bits and pieces on here, which um, actually is a, it's a pretty, it was kind of the kind of thing that I made a, a holder for it just one day. Um, and it's been like that ever since. And it sort of works, but it's I have to reach through this forest of trees to get to it. But in a sense, there aren't a lot of other spaces I can do it. So um, there we go. There, there's my, there's a bit more close up on the, the uh, that's a Hoover, on the camera rig. So that's the Sony camera on a funny sort of bracket, um, gorilla taped to a cheap selfie stick that I was going to throw away, uh, but clamped by the magic arm, which then goes around there and attaches to there. And all of this is taken on this upright here. Um, which is, mm -hmm, it seems to work. Very big screws put into the wall, and it's worked so far. Um, so, and you can see, sort of a lot of stuff I grab 
is immediately to hand. Things like screwdriver bits and, and hex keys and drill bits, uh, they tend to live right there. So anyway, I'm going to get, get off, put the radio on and um, I hope you... Oh, just one more thing. You might have noticed this huge bale. This is my last... Usually I buy them in two, so there's one, often one up in the spare room taking up room and then there's one down here which gets used up first and then bring the one down. This one is the last I've got and this is decreasing as I send guitars off to customers or people who buy them. Um, and usually on the top of them lives the kind of current, a few things I'm currently working on. Um, in this case, they're all leftover bits that need filing away somewhere. So that's part of today's job is to get them all out on here on the on the bench um, once I've cleared all this up and file them away to where they belong. Okay, see you soon. Thanks for watching.